Hey, what's up everybody? We're here at our elk shed camp. Um, we were here a couple weeks ago and we think we found a good spot to go stack up some sheds. So we just got camp set up. Tenting at this time. So we'll be back out tomorrow. We got here a little bit late, so we didn't get to get out and do much. We just kind of did some glassing but we're gonna get up early in the morning and get after it. See if we can't find some sheds tomorrow. So we'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna swap out packs and put a little bit bigger packs on and then eat some dinner and get ready for the morning. So we'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys? So I was just getting ready to turn on the camera and Talk about how hot it's getting and not really finding anything and then I just got ready to go through this thick scrub right here and turn my head just in time to spot a deer antler pretty old has some pink on it but it almost looks like a small moose paddle it's pretty cool looking I'll turn the camera around and show you guys so that's what I looked over and seen let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit How crazy that thing is. I've never found a deer antler like that. So I will uh, do a pickup video here in just a second. Holy crap. I'm not even sure what this is. It honestly looks like a moose paddle. Look at that thing. I think it I think it is a moose paddle. I didn't even know there was moose up here. That is so crazy. Look at this thing. I didn't even know there was moose up here. I swear this is a moose paddle. I've never even seen moose sign or a moose track up here. That is so crazy. All right, guys. So I definitely know what a moose looks like and what a moose paddle looks like. And I was convinced it was a mule deer shed because I have never seen any sign of moose up here. I've heard one rumor of moose being up here and that's it. But now that I picked this up, I know that at least, I mean... I don't know how many years old this is, but he could still be around. I just haven't seen him and I've spent a lot of time up here, but this is definitely a moose paddle and it's my first one. So pretty cool to start the day off first shed of this trip and to start the day off with a moose paddle, even though it's old. So I think I officially have a moose paddle now, but has a little pink on it so it is very old but that's all right i decided i wanted to find a moose paddle this year and i did not think it was going to be here so pretty sweet i guess we'll uh look around for a second to see if the other side's right here but um i don't know as long as it's been here somebody could have easily picked it up but i'll take a look around see if i can find the other side all right, I'm back to give everybody an update. Uh, my dad just found an old one, so that's good. Looks like at least two years old, maybe three years old. Small six point. Uh, so we have an elk shed, a moose paddle. Both of them are old. And we're right in the zone where my dad found uh, a really big set like three weeks ago. That's why we're back here. So we're in some good looking stuff. I'll kind of show you guys and start hiking so you can see what we're in. It's pretty thick stuff, so you never know what we're going to find, old or new. This is the jungle we're in. So I've been putting my camera away to get through some of this stuff because it's brand new. So I don't want to damage it, but we're in some pretty good stuff, so... I'm hopeful that we'll find 
hopefully some browns, but I don't think a lot of people come in here, so I think we have a good chance at finding some finding some elk sheds and deer sheds today. And who knows, hopefully another moose paddle, which totally caught me off guard by the way. <laughs> but as soon as I find something or close enough to my dad where we can get a video of something, I'll show you guys. So we'll be back. Well everybody, we're back. I just almost walked past this old deer shed. It uh kinda hidden with some sticks and stuff, but still shed. And it's been a little bit since I found one, since that mysterious moose paddle that I found. So let's go over and grab this shed real quick. Looks like it's pretty old though. Kinda in with the sticks. See if there's anything else around. Yeah, kind of hidden in with the sticks. Really broken up, but maybe last year's? Yeah, probably last year's. Broken up a little bit though. But for how small it is, it's kind of dense. <laughs> Definitely looks like a stick being broke up like that. But let's see if we can find another one around here. There was deer sheds in here a few weeks ago. Old and new, so we'll keep going. All right, we're back, everybody. So I picked up this deer shed here, the broken up one, just a little bit ago. Now I'm waiting for my dad to come around this little ridge and meet up with me. So I'm just poking around where uh, we found like three deer sheds and his two big elk sheds in like 15 minutes. Pretty cool. So I was just kind of poking around in here, seeing if I could find the match to my brown one that I found whoop, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and came across directly across the shed. See if you can see it in the camera. It is right in the center in that little clearing. Right, right there. About right in the middle right now. Looks kind of old, but that's all right. We're gonna go grab that real quick. Let's go grab it. I can hear this coyote yapping away like crazy. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but he's been barking for like 10 minutes probably and has not stopped. We had one this morning right out of camp too that just kept barking and barking and barking until my dad got too close to it. So I don't know what their deal is, but they're pretty vocal right now. This shed looks like it's a little bit old, but that's all right. We're gonna pick them all up. It's very white. Two point, it's probably the match to one my dad found last week. Oh no, it's a three point. Just check it. There she is. So. Gosh, maybe it's the match to the one I got in my hand. Wrong side. Good shape. It's not all broke up like the other one. Not bad. At least it's a shed. I'll keep poking around. Hey guys, what's up? A little update. I was just walking through this thick stuff. Thinking, man, all these deer sheds around, all this good cover, good bedding area, lots of fresh sign, old sign, and there should be more deer sheds in here. Found a bunch already, and then I spotted this old beat up white elk shed. Looks like he's missing all but maybe his G1 and G2. He's pretty beat up and old, but we'll go over and pick it up. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there in the center, you can see, I think that's his G2 and then his main beam. And he is busted up. But let's go pick it up. I'll pack pretty much anything out until my pack gets too heavy. So I'm content with picking up old elk sheds. If they're old, they're old. Hey, it's pretty old. 
It's not very big. No color on that side. Looks like he's actually been rolled over maybe once. Because it don't look like he has any color except for the mud on him. But got an elk shed. So that's a moose shed, a moose paddle, a deer shed, two deer sheds for me. My dad found a six point bull elk and now I have one. So now we have three different sheds, which is pretty cool. I've never had three different sheds on my back. So that's pretty awesome. Well, let's go meet up my, with my dad and see where he's at now. What's up everybody? So sitting up here on this ledge, looking down, trying to glass something up. I've been up here for like 30 minutes and haven't glassed anything, but it's almost one o'clock. So I think we're going to find a way down off these cliffs and then <clears throat> get something to eat, drink a bunch of water, and then uh, try to find a little spot to look around until my wife gets here with the side by side. She should be here next couple hours so we're gonna get down off this ledge and see if we can't find something after we eat some lunch all right so we just got back to camp to have lunch my wife's here now with the talon we got the talon she needs to go use the bathroom so she goes in the bushes to go pee and what does she find shit of course babe show me what you found I'm a party. literally right in camp Oh, she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> it's an old one, too. Very old. Let's see it. Holy crap. So old. That is super old. Look at it. It's like falling apart. It's Looks like some of the inside. ones in our front yard. Right? <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> and I was going that way, and I was like, no, 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 this way. It's a little more brushy. I don't know why we hike so far to find them when she finds them right in camp. Oh, sorry, honey. What's up, everybody? So we got dinner going, we got burgers tonight, we cut the shed hunting trip, not the trip, but the day, a little bit short. Wife and kids showed up, so we uh, played some horseshoes yeah. instead, but we got some, some good fixings for the burgers. Got some jalapenos, banana peppers, avocado, tomato. Got a bunch of stuff to put on them. We'll go over to the fire. We're cooking the burgers over the fire, so that always makes them better. Dad's cooking the burgers. And the beans. Got some grilling beans. A few burgers. Got the light over the kitchen. And the horseshoe pit. Kind of hard to play, but still playable. We'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> we'll get some glow in the dark paint or something. We'll get some playing in after dinner. And then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and we got a spot we're going to go to. Going to hit the trails. Let the, let the boys try to find some sheds. Try to find a little bit easier stuff for them to hike around in. So until then, we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, everybody. So we're getting a late start today. This is, well, I guess technically day three, but now we got the family here, my son Peyton, my wife, and our cousin, um, Darian. He's here with us. They're somewhere in the trees right now, but I'm trying to get them started on a spot and then I'm gonna take off and see what I can find in a new area, but as soon as I can get these guys started, then I'll get started. So, as soon as I find something or see something cool, I'll uh, I'll be sure to video it. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I've literally been hiking all day, and it's hot. I'm just glad there's a little bit of overcast, but I haven't done any video because I've been in the wind until maybe five minutes ago. So now that I'm out of the wind, this is kind of the stuff that I've been looking for all day and just haven't really got into anything. 
I haven't found anything. I've been around sign, but just, just haven't found anything. So now I'm in some stuff that looks really promising. There's rubs everywhere. There's sign everywhere. Old tracks, fresh tracks. Some of these rubs. Some of these places are seriously tore up by a few elk. Some of them old, some of them new. A little bit of everything in here. And it's some of my favorite stuff to look for sheds in. So hopefully it pays off here pretty soon because I'm getting tired and I'm a long ways away from camp. So I'm hoping that it pays off so I can at least walk out of here with something on my back. But if I do find anything, obviously I'll video it. Let you guys know. So I'm hoping it won't take long so that I have something for today because yesterday was all old stuff, but pretty exciting at least with the moose shed and everything. But nothing yet today. Uh, my dad hasn't found anything either, so been pretty tough and a little warm so now that I'm out of the wind it's really starting to get warm but like I said this stuff looks really promising I love love looking for sheds in this stuff so it's just gonna take a minute because it's really thick so we'll uh, try to find something in here and get some content for today at least something to pack out of here so Hopefully it'll happen soon. Wish me luck. Well, I'm back everybody. So I figured I'd find something in this, but I just didn't expect to sit down and be glassing for 20 minutes and it'd be right in front of me as I get ready to walk away. But it's not anything I can pick up. It's probably the oldest shit I've ever found. <laughs> and I don't know how I didn't see it, but I'll show you guys. It's pretty old, literally dust. Look at that thing. That shed might be, I don't know how many years it could sit here like that, but. would have been a good one I can't even tell how big it would have been but definitely not anything you can even pack out of here <laughs> but I was literally sitting on that rock and stood up put my pack on went to walk away and looked down and it was right in front of me so hopefully I can find one a little bit browner than that one <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I do morning everybody so we came over to this spot first thing in the morning just to kind of glass this ridge that <clears throat> you can't really see from the roads or anything like that um, there's a lot more to look at than I actually thought so we're just gonna do some glass and see if we can't find something to go after it's pretty steep over there so I'd like to find something before I actually go over there but we'll do some glassing it was like our third day yesterday whooped us bad um, found that one old chalky dusty one and that's about it so um, hopefully today is a little bit better to us we'll do some glassing and see if we can't pick something up on the way back down to camp we'll talk to you in a little bit hopefully hopefully sooner than later hey what's up guys so it's the end of day like 3.5 I guess we had a half a day but today was horrible for shed hunting so we didn't find any sheds I found one ancient ancient deadhead kind of like the shed that I found yesterday really really old so that was all we found um, so tomorrow we have <clears throat> a plan to go find uh, the matching sides to some, a couple of brown six points that we found like three weeks ago. 
So we're going to go try to find those tomorrow. Um, on the hike today, it was only like right about five miles for me. Maybe a few or a little bit less for my dad. But when I was up there, I noticed a spot that could hold the matching sides to those two six points. So we're going to go back tomorrow morning, spend like three or four hours, try to find those. If we can't find those, then we have a couple spots that we're going to use the spotting scopes again. We did a lot of spotting today. That's why there wasn't many miles, but a lot of spotting. Uh, I spent most of my time spotting, which was kind of a good thing because it was super hot today. I don't know what the temperature was up here, but I know some surrounding areas were over 90. So today was super hot and pretty rough. So we're going to go try our luck tomorrow in that area and then do a lot of spotting again. Hopefully that pays off and then we have one more day after that. We have Saturday. So depending on how tomorrow goes, hopefully we can end on a good note tomorrow and Saturday. So this is the pile that we have so far, which happened on day one. Not much, but this is our pile, which the moose paddle, super cool. But these deer antlers are like hard white, a couple little cracks in them, but just small. But I like finding any sheds, so that's how this game goes couple of chalk elk sheds but that's a pretty small pile for three and a half days so we'll see what we can find tomorrow hopefully hopefully the matching sides to those two browns if not then I guess that's the way it goes I spent a lot of time looking for sheds and a lot of time hiking a lot of miles and I don't know how you guys do but there's some bad days and there's some good days, so um, we'll see how we can do tomorrow. We just had some dinner, we had some T-bone steaks and some hash browns, so we're all fueled up for tomorrow. Just enjoying some fire time right now. And getting ready for tomorrow. Here's a campfire. Which always soothes everything when you have a bad day. We got the creek over here. Iced our feet in the ice cold creek. And it is cold by the way. I will say that. That creek hurts your feet. <laughs> when they're already in pain, you put them in the put them in the creek and it's a whole different kind of pain after that. So but it helps. So hopefully tomorrow is a little better day. I will uh, get back with you guys tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and take you along with me on the hike in the morning. And then we'll go for a little side-by-side -side ride and do some spotting after that. So we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So we're back here this morning. We got some overcast skies. We're excited about that. It's not real cool, but at least the cool stick around for a little bit with these overcast skies. So we're heading up right now. Just barely got started. And we're sticking with the plan that we came up with last night to kind of go in the area where we found a couple of good brown six points. Um, looks promising but so did the last two days so let's see what we can find over here and uh it'll be like three four hours we'll spend over here unless we really find a lot or find something worth you know to keep going but it's a good morning a good early start like a good breakfast and I'm not even taking my pack with me because I haven't had to put anything on it for two days. So we brought the side by side to the to the bottom of this. 
So I guess worst case scenario, we'll just have to carry him all the way back down. But we're started and I'm excited to see what we can find over here. So as soon as I find something, I'll check back in with you guys and uh, hopefully we can find some browns today. We'll see you guys in a little bit. everybody so <clears throat> we haven't found anything today so far but while spotting I think I found what it looks to be a good brown shed or maybe even a matching set but so far away that it was really hard to tell what's really going on it just looks funny might not even be a shed honestly it could be a really good looking steak or something but I don't know I just I can't I probably couldn't sleep without going down there to check and see what it really is so heading down right now let's check it out I guess and if it's a stick I'll take pictures of it and see how they can trick you through a spotting scope even but I don't know what else to do it's been bothering me for hours now so I'm going to go check it out, and it's in a really horrible spot, so getting down there should be fast, but getting back up will be, well, I've been down here before, so it's terrible, so I'll get down here and see what it is, maybe there's something on the way, so it could be a good thing, but I will see you guys shortly, thank you. What's up, everybody? So... I went down for that shed and apparently something tricked me really well so no shed there but I just stumbled on this one on the north facing slope I think it must have fell taking a pretty good fall sometime it's a little bit old but dang that's too bad would have been a good bull well, it is a good bull, but it's a little bit old. It's like, it has some pink and cracks in it, but actually preserves pretty well. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Not too bad. Did not expect to find it right here. Look at this stuff. It's like straight up. There had to be tons of snow right here every winter. But we got one. And I am sweating bad. It's hot down here. There's no breeze. So, and I didn't bring my pack. So we gotta carry this out by hand. So, we got some steep country to go through, so I'll uh, pick this shit up and we'll get out of here. Try to get back with some daylight for dinner. Good evening, everyone. So we're back at camp now. We're both pretty beat. The last three days have really got the best of us. That's for sure. Um, we have one, two, three. We have six sheds. Which... That old moose, pretty cool shed, so can't really complain too much. I found one today, finally. But other than that, we found nothing. We found a spike deadhead, spike elk. But other than that, it's been really rough. We're here for browns, looking for browns, and we cannot find any. So, called it a day early today. Um, we got one more day tomorrow, so we'll try to get out there and see what we can find we're gonna try a totally new area a little bit lower elevation see if we can't come up with something uh, that seems to be most productive was lower elevation but it's either high or low like nothing's been really in between so 
We've taken a couple gambles and we've lost for sure. So here's a little shed pile. If you guys want to see, I added one to it today. So it got a lot bigger. Here's a shed pile. This bigger one is the, the new one, the, the new old one. So that's it. No browns. They're all old and I think only the deer sheds are probably last year's. Everything else is, I'd be willing to say three years plus, especially the moose. So, um, we, I guess we've been, we've been some places that nobody has been, but that's about it. So we'll try our luck tomorrow. I think tonight we're going to play a little bit of horse. We got a little horseshoe pit right here. The smart water bottles are on there because they're a lot easier to see when the light shines on them at night. So we can actually play in the dark. So for right now we're gonna get some dinner started. We got some ribeyes that we picked up in town. They have really good steaks. So we're gonna do that. We got the talent all fueled up. She's all ready to go. So we're ready for anything tomorrow. Hopefully sheds. But it's been tough. So I wanted to apologize earlier for the being out of breath in my last videos because that was some steep stuff. And for some reason, I was dying. It was killing me. So I apologize for being out of breath on that. But kind of in a hurry. Try to get in and out of there real quick. So. But we will uh, get back with you guys in the morning and we'll try to do what we can tomorrow to get some browns or get something cool. I'd really like to, the way this trip started off with the moose shed, I was really hoping that we would get some cool stuff. But anyways, it's been tough and that's just the way it goes. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't find them. So... We will get back with you guys in the morning and hopefully have a better day. See you guys. Good morning, everyone. We're uh, getting ready to do our final day hike. Well, probably be more like a half a day. But we got pack, or, uh, camp all packed up, loaded into the truck. I'm just waiting for my dad to get down here with the truck so we can uh, take this side by side where we're going to hike. And then... Like I said, it's probably going to be like a half a day, and then we're going to head home. Uh, hopefully we can make the most of it today, but I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if we find anything, of course. So I think I can hear the truck now coming around the corner, so we'll get all ready to go, and then we got a late start, kind of, but that's because we had to tear down camp and eat breakfast and stuff, so... We will get started here pretty quick and see what else we can pick up before we head home. If, if we don't find much else, then uh, we kind of got our butts kicked, to be honest. It was tough. I don't know what the deal was, but we just could not find... I mean, we're around old sign, new sign. I mean, fresh sign. I know the fresh sign doesn't really matter here in May, but... Um, we should, I don't know. I think we should have we should have found more than we did. We put in a lot of miles on the feet and uh, a lot of spotting, and just couldn't find them. But we had fun either way. It was a good time, and family got to come down for a little bit. Or part of the family, so it was fun. But we'll uh, we'll get out there and see what we can find today, and then uh, I'll let you know everything we find, and then. We'll close out this video after that. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear this hummingbird. It's coming back. He just flew like right in between me and my phone. Oh, he just landed on my phone. <laughs> Did you see his tail flicker? <laughs> the heck? That was pretty cool. My wife would love that. I don't know where he went. I can't hear him anymore. I'm just sitting here. I thought I heard my dad coming down the road, but I guess not. So I'm just sitting here going through photos and videos and stuff and hear this hummingbird flying side by side.
and then he flew between me and my phone as I was getting it ready. I think I can hear him again. But, and then once I started recording, as you've seen his tail flicker in the camera, I'm on selfie mode, so. Gosh, I keep hearing him, but he won't come back. And then he landed right on my phone, completely stopped. <laughs> my wife would have loved that if she was here. I wish I could have got a picture or a video of him on my phone somehow. But, anyways, that was pretty cool. Hopefully he'll come back so I can show my wife. She loves hummingbirds, so. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm in this spot that, uh, been in a couple of these spots the last couple days, and I just really like them. Uh, the one we found a lot of deer sheds in, and a couple elk sheds, so before I got too far into it, I figured I'd pull out my camera, and maybe you guys can look around in the video and see what I'm hiking in, and then I'll just kind of film for a couple minutes, showing some things that I walk through, things that I'm seeing, and maybe uh, find something while I'm walking with you guys. Just have a little bit of faith in this spot, so. Um, haven't been to this specific spot, but it has all the same country that I like. So, figured I'd bring you guys along just in case in the next few minutes we find something. My dad did find a little three-point deer shed right at the beginning of our hike. Nothing big, but found something. So, that's pretty cool. We're not skunked for today. Well, he's not, but I am. So, I'm going to turn the camera around. So you guys can kind of see some stuff I'm walking through, stuff that I like. These pines. It's pretty low elevation pines. And I'm seeing old sign and uh, some sign from what looks like this morning or last night after it rained. We had a little bit of rain last night just to Kind of cover all the tracks up so everything we see should be fresh. Oh, elk rub or deer rub, maybe. Like seeing those, but yeah. So, I've seen some tracks that are kind of uh, fresh, freshly stirred up. So, some animals have been in here. The last few months, probably. So, hopefully, we can find a shed chilling in here. That'd be sweet. Especially while I have the camera out. I haven't done that yet. But this is my first, first time doing this. So, hopefully, you guys can tell me what you like, what you don't like, um, what you want to see, um, what you don't care about. Because I'm sure there's plenty of things that I'm doing wrong. So, oh, what's that? So you guys can let me know. Um, or tell me if you see a shed that I walked by as I'm videotaping. That'd be pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah, some of this stuff. Just really cool looking. I love being in this stuff. some scrub now. Yeah, make sure you guys let me know what you want to see. Maybe give me some ideas. Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so definitely not an expert. But I think it's fun to watch some of these other guys do it. And it seems fun to me. So, and I love the outdoors. So that's what this channel will be all about. Fishing, hunting, shooting, and shed hunting, of course. Something you can do all year. Well, oh, look at that big old jackrabbit. You guys see that? Where is he?
camera's not picking him up. There he is. Just chilling in the shade like I should be doing. Well, oh, oh, there goes another jackrabbit. There's a few of them in here. I think that's three now. I wish there's three sheds in here, but couldn't be that lucky. Well, I don't want to take up too much film, so hoping to come across something in that little area for you guys while I was walking I think that would be pretty cool but hopefully I find something soon and I will get back with you guys check this out <laughs> I can see some time sticking out <laughs> Pine needles. All right, I'm back, everybody. So I really wanted to try this one more time and see if we can find a shed before I spot it like while I'm recording. So it's another one of those spots, some pines and a little bit of scrub, uh, ponderosas, stuff like that, the cool stuff that I like. And what we've been finding some deer sheds in. My dad just found another older two point that was buried in pine needles. So that's exactly what's on the ground here. So let's see if we can find one while I record again. Turn this around. I don't know if this is going to be worth it, but like I said, this is my first time doing this. And some people may not. Holy crap. I thought I just found a shed. Anyway, some people may not think that the same stuff is cool, and I understand that, but I think that if I can kind of learn from my mistakes and learn from the things that you guys suggest or tell me, then I do have better shed hunting trips than this, I promise. I do find sheds, and I wish I would have started doing this at the beginning of this season but me and my wife were on our way home one day and she kind of brought it up and I've always kind of kept it to myself that hey we should uh you know maybe make some videos and have an Instagram page which is shed right outdoors right with a w if you want to take a look at that not much on it right now, but like I said, we're just getting started. So anyways, we were on our way home. She brought it up. And since she brought it up, it got me pretty excited. So, we were already into the shed hunting season a little bit. So, we do have a late start. But, some of the stuff that I found earlier this year, I wish I could have shared with you guys. But, I keep at it. Just about all year. I do have some hunts that I go on and stuff like that. I fish, so um, there will be a lot of stuff that we'll still have on our channel and still have on our Instagram and stuff like that. So, dang, I thought I seen another shit. So, if you guys would, um, comment, ask questions suggestions anything like that and uh, tell me what you want to see uh, besides sheds getting picked up because I'm not doing very good at that right now so and this spots not showing me anything different so well I guess I'll get back to hiking and stop talking Try to find a shed that I can actually show you guys. My dad's on the board twice today and I don't have anything. So, I'll get back to you guys. 